Alright, we're getting ready. Well, I can, um, a school volcano project, and we're getting ready to make our um, launch tube right here. We already made our compression chamber. It's two inch PVC, in cap, and a valve stem. And he's going to be our little observer right here. Observer right here, too. Okay. We're getting ready to um, assemble part of the launch tube for test, anyway. Alright. He's wiping glue on the inside of the um, adapter so he can put the launch tube together. That's good, Joshua. Alright, put it back in. Okay. <laughs> try this unless you absolutely are with somebody that knows what they are doing. Okay. Good job. Alright. Plug your other end up to the quick connect. Okay, this is uh, test number one. We're getting ready to fire a racquetball. We've got a racquetball in the tube already. Uh, pressed down in the tube. Oh, no. Joshua's holding the oh, chamber. Um, I mean, Joshua's holding the firing chamber. Hey, I've got the um, compression chamber. And here's our valve. Got our airlines hooked up. And uh. all right, Joshua, point it at the blanket. Uh. Here we go. And Very good. Success. Success. Now we've inserted the launch tube inside of a traffic cone, cut the top off, trim the launch tube a little bit, um, shorten the air hose, we just got a quick connect on it right here where we can uh, connect it back, um, bolted the cone to a piece of uh, about eighth inch plywood, and we wanted you to see this before we put our um, insulation foam, we got some of this insulation foam, we're going to spread around it all the way up to the top of it, and this stuff comes out like whipped cream, but tomorrow it'll be hardened. It's going to feel like dried rubber pretty much. It's gonna yeah, be it'll fun. feel like dried rubber like Joshua said. So. Joshua's putting some of the foam insulation on now. They put some in that hole right there. Here's our little inlet for the air hose. And as you can see down the tube, the chamber still looks good. The firing chamber still looks good. So. All right. All right. Yeah, we got Joshua paint the volcano now. We're gonna paint it brown, mix in some black, and um, put some red around the top in a little bit. Go on. Now here's Joshua putting the finishing touches on the paint job. And once the paint dries, we're going to take it outside for a demonstration. All right. Peace. Okay, we've got a very windy and cold day we're trying to do this on. This is going to be our first experiment of the finished product. Um, here's Joshua. He's going to be doing everything. Um, as you can see, we painted it. Um, there's the launching tube with the two inch PVC inside. We actually got a soup can holding this in place. Back up a second, Joshua. Here's our um, quick connect that we're gonna put the three eighths inch airline on. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we've got a bicycle pump with a gauge. Josh is going to pump this up to around 100 pounds. Um, our compression chamber with a valve stem we've inserted, uh, our release valve, and Josh was getting ready to hook everything up. Here's a racket ball right here. We've got um, actually got a worn racket ball. The new one's got a little bit too much grip on it, and we had one of these laying around the house, so that works a lot better. Also, we put a little Vaseline on the inside of the vacuum to, I mean, the um, launch chamber. All right. That's good. That's good. He's going to put some baby powder in it for effect. We're going to experiment with baby powder and flour, see which one gets the best effect. He's got the hook up. Shutting the valve off. Okay, he's got it up to around a hundred. About launch. And fix the launch in five, four, three. Success. Success. Okay, this is test number two. Um, Josh is putting some uh, just regular all-purpose flour in, in the volcano this time to see how that works versus the baby powder. Five, four, three, two. Very good, very good. And that, my friends, is a completed version of a mini volcano.